Cotton, we are sitting in the middle of the world's largest desert lake. The ambient temperatures can be as high as 40 degrees. Instead of staying two days in the lake fishing, fisher folk end up staying weeks to get the same fish that they caught maybe 10 years ago. And with global temperatures going up, this can only get worse for these communities here. We have to present sustainable solutions to reduce the impact of rising global temperatures. I'm Francis Nderitu and we are Keep It Cool and I'm going to show you how we are reducing food waste in rural Africa through affordable cold storage and logistics. I've always waited for this. <laughs> Ready to roll. Coming from a farming family, my parents would always complain that we are not getting enough money for the produce that we have. To me, it's extremely important that the people who experience the problem find the solutions because no one else understands that problem better than them. The first laptop I bought with my own money, it was everything. And that's what I really used as a launch pad to be able to develop Keep It Cool. Our vision for Keep It Cool is we want Fisher Fox to keep it cool. It being the produce that they have to be more climate resilient. Currently, the fish is exposed to high temperatures and losses here can be as high as 40%. We provide cooling solutions so that they can reduce that wastage from the boat all the way to the plate. Before Keep It Cool, the fishermen catches the fish and they try to force that fish to the market. In our case, we survey the market and then come to the fisher folk and tell them this is the sizes that we want, creating a sustainable ecosystem. When the fish lands at the landing site, the first thing that we do is check the quality of the fish and we have the fisher folk using our eyes. Upon there, we pay the fishermen. Uh, they are quite happy about that. Next, we transport it to our aggregation centers. This is where we make the ice for preserving the fish. This is absolutely the most important room in the company. We are able to reduce losses using our solar refrigerators. This is our solar power and freezers. Because on those days that we do not have electricity, that's when now this comes in handy for us. From the aggregation hub, our refrigerator trucks deliver to the distribution warehouses. From Lake Trukana to Nairobi is about 600, 700 kilometers. So what is going on here? There is gutting and scaling. There is uh, filleting and staking. So those are the forms of value addition that, that we do. We then deliver to the customers who have our solar refrigerators. Keep it cool really helps us in keeping the fish fresh. We don't throw fish away because we have the fridge here. Then we make sure that the way you handle the offcuts is in the same standards that you handle the fillet. And by doing that, we have been able to make more out of the fish that we got from the fishermen. We sell the fish offcuts to informal settlements. Nothing is wasted. We have zero waste. We've been with Keep It Cool partnership for three years now. They gave us the freezers. They installed for us the solars. So you've got the freezers, the batteries, and the panels. Mm -hmm. So how do they all work? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm very proud that we lose only less than 1% out of the produce for the fisher folk they are catching in the lakes. We are disrupting the fish value chain by bringing in a business invention process that is making fish distribution with 98% more efficiency. Mimi binafsi tangu nianze kufanya na keep it cool. Hakuna siku hata moja samaki yangu imewasa. Ile wakati keep it cool ile tukudia maisha we continue to prosper to deliver the impact that we have promised, not only sustainable but also environmental friendly uh, process. I'm happy that I'm at the forefront of helping communities to be more resilient, adaptive and basically ready to face the, the future.